What is up guys? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Airport CEO. This is episode number eight and time is of the essence as we start to run out of small flights. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> well, I think I just turned. Okay, there we go. Time is of the essence as we start to run out of small flights to fill our stands. Only larger flights seem to be uh, what people want because everyone is offering up these large flights here. No one's really offering up the smaller ones. It looks like we have one smaller one there that we can throw in uh, Wednesday. Throw that one right there. I think that'll be fine. Awesome. But, uh, but we do need to start getting more large stands, so we really need to complete this thing right here, this uh, this boarding desk. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got, I don't know why you guys are waiting in here. Oh, because the buses. Oh, that's fun, I guess. The buses are dropping them off there, so they don't know where to go. But we know that we need to start getting these queues set up, so let's do that first. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. There's one. Here's the second one. And getting the queues set up will give us a nice idea of how we want to lay out the rest of the stands, or the rest of the, the check-in desks. There we go. And this one right here, build a queue. We'll put it out this way. I like this method of building queues, that you build it straight from the, the GUI of this right here. I think that's pretty cool. Oops, uh, did I go forward one too much? Yeah, I did. Let's go, well, let's, let's cut towards the wall. How about that? Awesome. That looks pretty good. And it gives us a really nice idea of where we want to kind of lay out the rest of the boarding desks. So I wanted to give them a little bit of room here, which is exactly what we're going to do. Let's get our boarding desks in here. So desks or check-in. Why do I keep saying boarding? Check-in desks. We're going to put them. Let's see. We gave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. No, nine. Okay, so we need to do that for here as well. Okay, so let's do, we'll start it right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. We'll put it right there. And I think that should match up nicely with this. We'll know once we can set up the queue. So we'll let them build that one. You guys are all waiting here. So this is really weird that they don't go to the check-in desks that are going to... Like the buses don't drop them off at the correct place. That's really weird. I guess I could add like a, a path or something through there. Six. Awesome. Uh, so we did six. How many slots do we have? One, two, three, and one, two, three. Awesome. We are nice and even, uh, which means we can have a nice area right here where people can do stuff. I like it. So we're going to run a wall like this. We're going to run it that way as well once we set up more check-in desks. So let's get some more check-in desks in here. Check-in desks. You guys are going to murder me if I say check-in desk one more time. Check-in desk, check-in desk. <laughs> get all the check-in desks. Um, should we put some here? No, I think we'll have this area be kind of a, a walking area or something. I don't, I don't know what we'll do with that. We'll do something. In fact, I might want to kind of boop, let people go through like, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that'll give people room to kind of move this way, and then that's going to be the path that they'll take to get to security. Security is going to be this, like this area right here. It'll be a nice big area. Okay, build that check-in disk. Come on, you've got this. Don't, don't. Do Why are you guys running late again? <laughs> I don't understand. Are you number three? No. Two, three. Oh, okay, so it's just running marginally late. I don't know why they're running late, though. So they land... Then I guess maybe there, it's not fast enough on the inspection time? I don't know. Okay, let's get the queue for you guys. We will cut to up. Oh, yeah. And there we go. All right, we got a nice little check-in area. And the reason I put this wall here was because we have this, these, um, we have the baggage here and I don't want people to be able to access the baggage. That would be a recipe for disaster, wouldn't it? So I'll put the baggage going through this way. Oh, oh no, 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 please no. There we go. That the bat, th th it's weird in this. What they need to do is they need to take a page from Factorio's book, I think. <laughs> uh, and then with the bag, you know what? We'll go this way. Well, how do we want to do this? We'll do underground conveyor belts this way. Ah, perfect, that was perfect. Okay, and then an above ground conveyor belt right here. So the bags still go to the same place. Okay, so we're consolidating all the bags in one area. I like it. 
Why are you guys running late? It's like they're running late for like a second. So it said A2. Why are you running late? Your inspection progress is going slowly. So does that mean... Who are the inspectors? We might not have enough. That might be what it is. Let's hire some. Uh, staff. Inspectors. I think inspectors are done by uh, ramp agents. And not service technicians. I, actually, I, I think it is ramp agents. So let's hire more ramp agents then. Ramp agents. Hire. Hire. They're all red. But I'll hire them anyway. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is ramp agents, because so, I can see them doing their stuff. Okay, so now now that that mystery's out of the way. <laughs> um, Alright, this looks... Oh, that's the underground bell. I was like, what is all this? No, that's the underground bell. Oh! Right. Beep! There we go. Awesome. This might not be enough space to have everything that we want here. All the equipment for the uh, scanning, so we might actually expand this a little bit right there. Uh, so I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to run a cheap fence. Kind of right here. Just just to denote that we want to expand into this area at some point. This is like area we could expand into. And I'll put a door right here as well because the... Uh, you know the, uh, <laughs> the guys are going to get stuck in there. Okay, this is a pretty nice start to our check-in area. So these aren't going to be... Well, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9, which beats our current 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think so. And, and then we can have a, a total probably of 30 or so uh, check-in desks in this area, maybe even more, um, which would be kind of nice. So what, what this is going to do is this is all going to bottleneck into this one security area, which is going to be a little bit bigger than it was before. So it'll be a little bit bigger than the existing one currently. And it's going to be roughly in this area right here. So this will be our next security place. And actually, you know what? I want this to be even. So how, how far are we doing here? Awesome, there we go. That's going to be our security area, and it is perfectly even, so <laughs> I take pride in that. We have eight spaces on the left and eight spaces on the right. So that's going to be our security place, and they're going to be, I want to say, multiple doors. In fact, we might even... How big How big does this need to be? Oh, it needs to be pretty big. Hmm. Well, let's expand it a little bit then. Yeah, like that. And we'll destroy the walls in between. There we go. All right, that's going to be a nice security area. It's going to be super awesome, I think. It'll go a little bit faster than this, because as we... Like, could you imagine if we put more planes on this thing, like maybe five or so larger planes? Having this many people flood in at around the same time, it would this, this would take forever to go through, I think. Is it raining? I feel like it's raining, but I'm not sure. You know what? Let's plop a, le a weather station, because that does exist. Yeah, let's pop one of these. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where. Maybe right here. We'll let, we'll, we'll, we'll let someone build that. That should allow us to see what the weather is. I don't know why we haven't built that until this point. Okay, so this is good. Let's add some doors. We'll get a larger door right there. Maybe a large door right here. Maybe a large one right here. And a large one right here. There we go. Four doors. That'll be nice. We'll get some security. You're running late in A1. Why Why is A1 running late? Looks like it's inspections done. The That is done. I think you're probably taking off. Yeah, it was just running a little bit late. I don't understand why they run a little bit late. Like, is it boarding? Is it... What's the, what's the problem? I guess I could actually, like sit here and watch this like this one's the one that's running late now but it just spun up so yeah i don't know i don't know why they run late by just a, like a smidge doesn't make much sense okay this is done let's get some security in here security we're gonna get a couple medium-sized ones these are ten thousand a piece so they're gonna they're gonna cost quite a bit of money let's make our secure area this Yeah, that right there. And this will be our line area. So Securite, we'll get a couple of these things. Uh, I don't know how many we want. Let's have one right here. We'll have one right here. Then can we put, can we do, let's see, if I put one right here, put one right there. Ah, that wouldn't be that bad. So one right there, 
and run right there. Four security checkpoints. That's a lot of security. That means we're going to need, uh, what, how many? It's three per, so that's 12 security professionals. This will eventually go. No, it's four per. Oh, so that's 16 security professionals on all of this. But on the bright side, things should go pretty quickly, I think. Um, we probably want to also have a gate there, but I think the gates are outdoor only, which slightly makes me sad. These little things right here, I don't think I can... Yeah. So we're going to have to put a wall. Just so people can't get through the secure area without going through security. Because we can, we take security very, very seriously here at whatever this airport is called. Whatever I called it at the start. And actually, we have all this area that we could use to check baggage. So, yeah. Nice. How are our flight's looking? This is what I like to do while we're while we're waiting for things. You know what? I bet you. Let me let me take a look at the procurement. I bet you there's something that tells me if they're gonna offer big flights or small flights, like goose wings, for instance. Cheaper flights, wild geese, blah 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 blah. It doesn't tell me if it's small planes. It tells me it's cheap planes. So let's sign with them. What about Havana? Ooh, nana. Worldwide hot destinations, limitless sunbathing. Very young airline. It's owned by some older airplanes. Yeah, it doesn't tell me. Sign with them anyway. And let's hope that some of these guys have small airplanes that we can uh, we can fly with. Goose wings. Ah, yes, goose wings. I love you. You're good. You got small wings. Some small <laughs> small planes. I guess small wings are true. All right, I love it. Uh, part of me. So I guess this is only big. One. Yeah, this. A couple of these are only big ones. Maple, though, is good. Should we get Auto Scheduler? It's starting to take some time. Let's turn on Auto Scheduler again. Flight delay, minimum flight separation. Yeah, let's... Uh, medium aircraft, large aircraft. There aren't large aircrafts yet. Let's turn this on. Let's let it, let's let it work. <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, did you do it yet? I guess it didn't. See, that's what it does. It puts them on weird, puts them in weird places. Look at this. I want it to be a nice continuous downline, but you know what? I'll let it work. It'll, I'll let it do its thing. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be all good. Okay, let's get some queues set up. Queue lines. This one's going to go all the way over there, except for we're going to leave one spot here. And this way, these are going to be some long queues. Have you guys ever been to the uh, security place? There's some long lines. There we go. We'll bring it down to there. Give them a little bit of walking room. We don't want them to be cramped. Okay, this one as well. We'll do... We'll cut right this time. Some really long lines. There you go. So when you get right here, you get to make the decision. You're like, this one or this one. Could be either. <laughs> What I really hope, though, is our is our security people don't migrate over here by default, but I kind of think that they're going to try to do that. If they do, it might leave our other areas unmanned, which will be interesting. Okay, and then finally this one, which is going to cut to the right. I'm telling you, man, favorite part of this game, making queue lines. Oh, shoot. I did that wrong. Oops. Go one more. There you go. Awesome. So we got our four queue lines done. These are going to be where doors are going to go. I hear a loud plane. You guys hear that? <laughs> That's a loud plane. Louder the plane, the more money. Am I right? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Bad, bad, bad. How do I, how do I, mm, how do I stop that? There we go. Whew. Do you hear? Do you hear a warning siren? I heard a warning siren just now. What the heck? There better not be any warnings going on. Um, Alrighty, this is looking good. Good stuff. We've got our security set up. And how do we want to floor our security? Security is all business. Let's floor it like a asphalt. Well, what can we do here? Concrete? No, not concrete. Dark wood floor. Well, uh, I don't know fancy wood 
You know what? Let's give them, yeah, let's give them the asphalt. There we go, like a dark asphalt. Haha, -ha. you're in security. Ain't no messing around in security. We need to hire a lot more security for this. Oh no, they defaulted over here. Please tell me this is still manned. Okay, it is. Woo! <laughs> I was hoping that would have been bad. Let's actually, let's close all these. We're not, it, we're not on yet. I bet you some of these are being manned as well. Actually, no. This is fine. Why are you here? Why are you two here? This is staff area. Staff zone. All of this is staff zone. In fact, technically this should be a secure zone, but no, this is staff zone. There we go. Yeah, get out of there. Ali, don't leave your luggage. That's the number one thing not to do at an airport. What the heck, guy? Just leaving his luggage everywhere? You're gonna murder us all. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, okay, so after they get through security, what do we wanna do? This is where we wanna have our nice area where there's gonna be shops and stuff. So, we're still doing pretty well on money. Anything we've lost has been recuperated. Let's press F and see how our flights are doing, by the way. I want to see. Well, it did schedule them. I guess that's fine. Whatever. It's, it's good. <laughs> so we're going to do... We want a relatively large area. Like this. And eventually it'll continue this way as well. But for now, it's going to continue these ways. How far did you go? Eight. So let's do that on this side as well, just to keep it nice and symmetrical. Eight that way as well. Uh, and we might cut back here, have some stuff back in this area. And we'll do the same right here. We'll cut back. So it'll be kind of like a, like, you know, you, you come in here, you have a nice little... A nice little area where you can go to shops you can do your stuff you can find out what terminal you're going to go to because this is where you're going to be directed to your main terminals in fact this will probably continue kind of like that and then this will continue like that as well and then you'll have terminals kind of this way i think that looks pretty cool that would be a pretty cool thing do not delay <laughs> do not delay our flights all right so the first terminal we're gonna do is going to be do i want to delay it no Let's do, how do we want to do this? You know what? Let's work on shops first. Then we'll do the terminals. What the, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what the heck are they doing? <laughs> what the heck, guys? <laughs> how are they doing this? <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> okay, so they're going to come into this area. I'm thinking no door right here. In fact, we really shouldn't have a door here either. It should just be like you go in. Yeah, let's remove the doors. Because when there's a lot of people, a door might slow things down. We, we need a door right here for air conditioning reasons, obviously. But for this one right here, I think no door would be nice. So let's, let's remove some walls here. So, you know, they'll get through security. Beep! They come through. We'll do something like this. Just remove it from the end of all these things. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Nice nice stuff. Okay, I think that's good. Let's also give them some seating. So some some uh, single row seating. Maybe on the sides. Yeah, like that. These are kind of just places where they can put their shoes back on, you know. You guys have all been through security. <laughs> it takes a long time sometimes. You gotta get your shoes back on. You gotta get everything set up again. So this is just some nice place that you can do that. There we go. Yeah, just a nice little area, I think. That's a lot of seating, but yeah. You know, I think I figured out the reason why people are so late to their flights. Look at this. They're being dropped off here, and then they have to run all this way. So let's give them a nice little sidewalk, just for the time being. We'll eventually destroy it. But for now, we'll give them a nice little sidewalk so that they can kind of walk to the, the main terminal that exists right now. There we go. So they don't have to walk all the way around. This should save them a little bit of time. See, because they're all being dropped off here, because everything is over here. So, having this would be should should speed things up. I don't know what this guy's doing. My guy, you're you're in the wrong terminal. <laughs> you need to go somewhere else. And it's a one by one, so they're having trouble actually walking that way. Don't worry, guys. A new sidewalk is coming. Okay, let's work on this a little bit. So we want to get some shops in here. 
Uh, let's set some up. So, let's do... How do we want to do this? We're going to build some walls. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. We need to make that secure. Security! We need to do it here? No, we don't. Okay, everything's secure. Oh, except for that. Now, believe it or not, that would actually cause a problem in the game. People would not be able to go from here to here because it's not a secure zone over there. Which is kind of funny when it happens. Oh, there he goes. Nope, he's actually just going to go sit down. <laughs> Did he miss his flight or something because he's in the wrong terminal? You're in the wrong whole building. You're not even in the wrong terminal. You're in the wrong place. Uh, right then, so let's get our airports. So, first you're going to come in. You're going to get this. How, how wide do we want the walkway to be? Let's do one, two, three four five and then right here would be the first shop how big would that be that's a pretty big shop actually well i think that's fine because a lot of the places really want large areas so we'll do something like this that's pretty a pretty nice shop i mean it might not be large enough for some of the places but i think it'll be it'll be pretty big so let's go to here. Nope, not bathroom. <laughs> food room. Shop room. Where is going to be a shop room? Actually, no. This is going to be a food room. You're immediately greeted with a food room. And what contracts can we have here? Uh, you guys don't like the size. Why don't you guys like the size? Because you guys want really large place. So you're 154 meters squared. So you guys want it to be longer. And if it were longer, you'd be good with it. But what about some of these? Like the bistro? No, the swift veg. We'll do it though. Bell beer would do it. I want some, oh the the bistro will do it as well. We already have a bistro, don't we? I want this one, so let's make this a little bit larger on the side. So let's cut down this. Let's do kind of like this, and see if that's large enough for him. We'll we'll delete that room right there. Then we'll make a new one. Can we not get food now? Oh. Oh, they have a new area for food. Ah, that's new. So shops and food are now separate. I like it. They come up with updates on this game every once in a while, so. It's always interesting. Uh, right then. Food. Food room. It's going to be a large food room. Okay, you guys like it, the bean. The bean might be what we go with. Swift Veg likes it. Petit Beast, uh, Bizou likes it. Uh, Petit Bizou is a nice place, actually. It's given us nineteen ninety-two an hour. Whereas Hilltop Cafe is not giving us much. Hiko Sushi, though. That's pretty good, too. I might like Hiko Sushi. Oh! You know what? I just realized... It says 275 meters squared out of 231 meters squared. So 231 meters squared is what they want, and 275 is what I have. Oh my god, I thought they wanted a, a 275 meter by 231 meter, and I didn't I didn't understand. Okay, I understand now. I see. I, that, <laughs> I had no I had no idea. <laughs> Let's get the Hiko Sushi. Cause they're giving us a nice cut compared to Petit Bizu, who's giving us Eight per meter squared, and eight per meter squared. You're giving us a bigger cut, I will say. Sales for bonus is five thousand, whereas you want six. Um, let's go with PTB Zoo. Six days, ten days. Yeah, let's go with PTB Zoo. Not right now, though. We're not going to sign with them quite yet. I don't think we can. We need eight cafe fridges and then a cafe counter. So let's build those. We'll start with our cafe counter. So this is where you will purchase your stuff. And we're going to stick it right by the door. So that people can... people So that they can see if anyone's trying to steal. Well, let's... You know what? Let's make the display for just first. I think that's a better idea. One. You need ten, right? Two, three. Oh, how many do we want? Okay. Four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have eleven. Eleven's fine. And then we'll have the counter thing right here, which is going to be like this. 
All right, there we go. Okay, so we've got the staff coming into this cafe counter right here. So staff chill out over there. Then people come over here and they order their stuff from all this stuff. They go back over to the cafe counter, they purchase it, and then they're gonna go into this area, which is going to be our nice seating area where they're going to have nice round tables. It's gonna be a really, really classy establishment. So one right there, we'll do one right here, one right there. I think that's gonna be nice. Yeah, let's give them some chairs. We'll give them these chairs right here. It's gonna look kind of blocky, but I think it'll be fine. All in all, nine tables. Should be good. So, when I first started building uh, shops in this game, I thought the shops were like unnecessarily large for such a small amount of tables, but then I actually went to some shops and, and took a look, and it turns out that there is a lot of room dedicated to seating. Way more than there is dedicated to stuff like uh, getting your food. So, I thought that was interesting. And we'll do, we'll do a couple stuff here as well. One right there, and we'll do... One right here as well. Give them some more chairs. So what is that, 11? Is that 11 tables? That's actually a large amount of tables. I like it. Okay, so do we want to give them kind of like a cafe sort of area? As, or kind of a, oh, what would you call it? Like a nice seating area? I think that'd be nice. So like a little couch maybe. You know what? Let's Let's remove this stuff right here. Okay, so in this corner, we're going to have a nice little, just kind of a nice little chill area. Where you can kind of come and like hang out right here and chat or something. And then there's also going to be a plant. Because you can't, you can't go wrong with a plant, am I right? I mean like one of these. I think that's nice. Alrighty, so you come in via a door. I'm just going to be right here. So that's one way you could come in, and you could also come in via a side door, I would say, maybe right... No, maybe maybe only one door to come in, because we're gonna have another shop right there. I think that's nice, that's a good shop. So once they all come in and build it, it'll be it'll be all set. They're still using this super hacky way to get through though, I, I find that interesting. I wonder if this guy's using that as well. Like, is that a glitch? Is there like not a wall there? Maybe it destroyed the wall, because I remember I had that accidentally set as a door. So maybe they destroyed the wall. All right, there we go. Our nice little cafe is built. I want to give it a nice little flooring as well before we before we head off for today. Let's. I really like this kind of flooring here. And in fact, you know what? I like what I did over with the other place. So if we look over here. I really. Where is it? Right here. I really like what I did there with the nice little kind of tiled flooring for the uh, for the food area. So I think we want to continue that. Maybe just for right here would be a nice little tile uh, flooring. And I'm gonna do. Clinker, maybe not. Maybe just like a light concrete or something. Or the marble even. I, we could do marble. That wouldn't be... The, yeah, marble would look actually really good. I wish they had different colors of marble. There you go. And then you kind of come into this area and everything. Okay, so right now there's no one there, but we'll get someone once we have the airport set up. I think this is our best place yet. This is our best, uh, our best store. It looks better than all the other ones. This one only has two tables. <laughs> this one only has a bunch of stuff. I mean, yeah, this is our best one easily by far. Um, which is good because that means we're learning. So next episode we'll focus on building out those runways. Or the not runways, but whatever they're called. The, um, the uh, terminals. So we'll have terminal one this way, terminal two that way. And they'll actually have planes on either side of them. So they'll look like actual terminals. They'll be really cool and stuff so uh that's what you got to look forward to next episode but if you like this episode please hit the like button put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section and i'll see you guys in the next episode of airport ceo